welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Patrick and I love plants. In today's video, we are at Martina's Nursery, one of my favorite nurseries, and surprise, surprise, we are going plant shopping. The tunnel is complete and it looks really awesome in here. The last time I was here they were just building this thing and I'm so glad that I'm able to come back and see how it looks all complete. It looks amazing. I'm excited to go plant shopping. It is the first day that it feels like spring. It's nice and kind of warm out so I'm just all in my feels. There's tons of amazing plants here. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Starting with this table right off the bat, there's some really cool Hoyas and a Ficus triangularis variegata for $15. Ooh, here's a global green pothos for $10. There's a Hoya crassi petiolata. These are $15 each. They have these big leafed Hoyas, the Hoya Skinneriana, and these are also $15. Ooh, look at the texture of that leaf. That's pretty cool. They have Hoya Crimson Princess. These are all $20 each for the six inch pots. These pots are beautiful. Lots of variegation, super bright. Ooh, look at that half moon. The Crimson Queen is also very cool, but I feel like those look really beautiful from afar because those grow some beautiful white leaves. So they tend to be a little more striking from afar, but when you look closely at a Crimson Princess, you start to notice the different varying shades of green within one leaf, and I really find that to be so beautiful. Oh, although... These look really beautiful up close too. To be honest, I've never met a plant that I didn't like. That's a lie. That's a big fat lie. Ivy, I do not like ivy. Someone commented about having to rip out ivy from the ground before and I too have had the severe pleasure <laughs> of having to do that. My parents, when they moved into their house, their whole front was covered in ivy and I helped rip that out and that was brutal. These are highly invasive, so don't plant these in the ground. They have four inch platycerium bifurcatums. These are cute. These are $6 each. They have varying goldfish plants and these are $10 each. See, this is the black goldfish. And then they also have the regular green and then I like these with the red backs to them. Really beautiful. Nice oxalis in the four inch pots. They have the green and the purple. Oh, they're $8 each. Nice. Which do you prefer? Green oxalis or the purple? Behind them are some Costa Farms trending tropicals. Like this ZZ Chameleon. They also have the Syndapsis Trubii Moonlight. These look really good. Very happy. Look, those leaves are standing up. They also have the Baltic Blue and the Global Green Pothos. These are $40 each for the Trending Tropicals. Right in front of them are these Pachira Aquatica Stumps. And these are $15 each. There are some more Hoyas. They have the Australis. They also have the Carii. And the Crimson Queen that I already touched on. I was looking for a price tag. The Crimson Queens are $15. Ooh, and they also have some four inch Hoya Pubicalix for $10 each. They have some nice four inch Tenanthi Gray Stars. These are looking very, very full. These are $10 each. Little Dracaena Janet Craigs for $5 each. Four inch ZZs for $8 each. This one has the round leaves that I love. Nice. Some nice honey eye 
Sansevieria. <laughs> I almost said Dracaena and then I stopped myself and I was like, why are you stopping yourself? Because that is right. Dracaena, Sansevieria. That's what these are. <laughs> They're only $6. Awesome. $15 for the 6 inch Sansevieria Cylindrica. I'm just gonna say Sansevieria, that's what we all know them as. It gets a little wordy when I say Sansevieria, formerly known as Dracaena, so sometimes it's just easier to say Sansevieria because I know everyone knows what I mean. They have a few different types of Peperomias too, if you are a Peperomia fan. There's a Peperomia obtusifolia. This one's the lemon lime and these are $6 each. This one's also $6, and this one is the Marble Obtusifolia, and this one is the Obtusifolia Variegata. See the difference? The Lemon Lime is a green on green variegation, and this is more of an Albo Marginata situation. The Peperomia Rana Verdes are $6 each too, so I'm thinking all the Peperomias are just $6 each in the four inch pots. Ooh, they have some four inch Pelionia Repens. These leaves are so beautiful. Four inch Pelionia Repens are $10 each. They also have four inch Macaulay's Finale. These are $12 each. It's a philodendron, by the way. Really nice, kind of like the Prince of Orange, but it puts out these beautiful deep red leaves. Oh my gosh, this begonia is so cute. I love the pink flowers. This is the begonia silver spot. Maybe it's a cultivar of the maculata. Kind of reminds me of my special angel. Really beautiful Platycerium bifurcatum. Oh, really, really beautiful. This one's $20. They also have crocodile fern. This one's also $25 in the six inch pot. Beautiful bird's nest fern. This one is $15. These are starting to grow on me more and more. I am really loving my ferns lately. I love how the emerging leaves come out super coiled and then they unravel and turn into this big beautiful leaf. I kind of have an idea for one of my sections in my backyard where it only gets east facing light and it's very limited as far as the direct sun goes so I think that it's going to be perfect for creating a nice little tropical oasis with some really nice tropical plants. That's just an idea that I have for this coming growing season. I feel like it would do well throughout the winter too. So. Maybe that'll be a project that I can work on. These six inch moonshines are really nice. Sansevierias are solid plants. This one is $15. One thing that I've noticed that I'm really loving about plants are plants with hard leaves. It makes me happy to like feel my plants leaves and feel them nice and firm because to me that is a sign of health and happiness for a plant. Ficus Audrey's, these are $15 each in the six inch pots. And they also have Ficus Burgundies. The Ficus Burgundies are $12 each in the six inch pots. Ficus Rubies are 12. And they have little four inch planters of the Ficus Rubies for six. My these Ficus Altissimas are $15 each. I remember when Ficus Altissimas were so much more expensive. So I'm glad to see the price drop on these. This is an awesome Ficus, really fun to grow, and it's a lot easier than the Audrey. Speaking of difficult Ficus, <laughs> they have the Ficus Lorado, which I'm tempted to attempt growing in my outdoor tropical oasis. Wow, these are $12 each from the ficus. Now we are into the Dracaena section. I like that they arranged everything. It's very organized in here. The Dracaena Marginatas are $12 each. 
This one's $12 too, so maybe all the Dracenas are $12 each. Yes. Yes, they are. They have six inch pots of the Spathophyllum Peace Lily for $15 each. And the six inch braided money trees are $20 each. Ficus ginseng are $20 each. These are the voluptuous and sensual plants. <laughs> They also have a ton of Sansevieria. Just look at that sea of Sansevieria Laurentii. There are a ton more houseplants to go over, but I feel myself being called to the succulent section. Like these Portulacaria afra, Mediopicta. These are the inner variegated Portulacaria afras. So beautiful. These are $12 each. I just made a bunch of really cute succulent arrangements and I am obsessed. I had so much fun making those and it was my last video if you didn't catch it. I went pot shopping and plant shopping, all done with a budget of $25. It was really fun. I don't always have a budget, but the budget forced me to be a little more creative and surprisingly, it turned out really, really pretty. It turned out really, really well and I couldn't be more proud of the things that I created. All these 4-inch cacti are $5 each. Like this Haworthia. This is so beautiful. You can find some really beautiful Echeveria here. Like this Blooming Beauty. That is what the flower is going to look like. Gorgeous, right? Ooh, look at this Echeveria with the undulate leaves. This one's beautiful. They even have variegated Haworthia cooperi. This one's $7. And they have my mystery succulent from my succulent arrangement video. Now I know. And whoever commented that it was a Graptivaria amethorum is correct. <laughs> so thank you for your help in IDing this plant. I love these bubbly leaves. That's a super cute plant. They have some beautiful Semper Vivums too. These are also called Chicks and Hens. This one's $6. Semper Vivums are some of my favorite succulents. I think they, their growth pattern is so beautiful. Love the little rosettes too. Look at this one huge rosette. This is beautiful. I think this is a Semper Vivum too. Really cool Kalanchoe. Love the bright red edge beautiful ombre just look at that beautiful rosette it's so perfect it's a shame how underrated succulents are echeveria being one of them echeveria are so beautiful they come in all kinds of different colors shapes and sizes that there's bound to be one echeveria that you're gonna fall in love with especially love when echeveria turn pink Pink succulents are my thing right now. Ooh, they have six packs of some really cool succulents too, like these Crassula ovadas. They also have the Portulacaria afra. My bad, they're not six packs. They're just um, stuck together. <laughs> Ooh, these are cute. I love the little pink tips on these. It's amazing what they've done to this place. It is so huge and so vast and just filled with so many plants. Oh, just look at that. It's so cute. The leaves are so plump, so succulent, and so colorful. Nice. They also have lithops, and these lithops are huge. They're nice and juicy. It's like they got BBLs. These huge and juicy lithops in 4-inch pots are $8 each. They also have donkey tails for $5 each. They also have the thimble cactus, the Mammillaria gracilis. These are super easy to propagate. Ah, uh, yes. The ruby necklace. I was struggling to find uh, the name for this when I used this in my succulent arrangement video. 
Four inch pots are $5 each. The prices here are really good. Here are the outer variegated Portilacaria Afras. I am finding some really cute succulents. I'm gonna have a hard time narrowing it down. Ooh, $10 each for these four inch variegated string of pearls. That is a great price. And they have some really cool crassulas. This is the crassula pangolin. These are $4 each for the four inch pot and $5 for the Crassula Buddha's Temple. And they have Peperomia axillaris. These are $5 each as well. And now that we got that out of my system, let's go back to the houseplants and check out the rest of the houseplants. They have one pink jasmine in a hanging basket. These are awesome, they smell so good. smells so good. I absolutely love the smell of jasmine. I highly, highly recommend this plant if you're not allergic to jasmine. I love it. Can't get enough of it. My love for jasmine goes all the way back to childhood. I have always thought that the smell of jasmine is just otherworldly, so beautiful. It takes me back to one of my memories going back to the Philippines when I got this. I think it's a double jasmine, but we call it Sampaguita in uh, the Philippines. I had a necklace made of that, and I just really remember loving the smell of that. So I keep searching for Sampaguita here, so whenever I find one, I will definitely buy one. They also have Saxifraga, or also known as the Strawberry Begonia. This is one that I've always been curious to try. I always thought that the way that these grow are so beautiful as well, and I love this tri-color. This is the Saxifraga Stolonifera, and this is $15. They also have a ton of beautiful hanging plants here, like this Tradescantia rainbow. And you already know how much I love philodendron brazils. Just look at how beautiful this plant is. I love this bright orange stem. Can you see the bright orange stem? It's been a while since I purchased a brazil and I still have a few. <laughs> but maybe it's time to add more. They also have four inch philodendron painted ladies. These are great, super fun, and also very underrated for an aeroid. These are $25 each. It's really cool when you find a cool and affordable aeroid to grow. So this is one that I highly recommend. I love everything from the yellow and green mottled variegation to the bright pink stem. They also have Begonia Tiger Paws, which reminds me I need to water mine at home. This one's $15. They also have Refidifora decursivas in four inch pots. These are $15 each. Aptly named the Dragon Tail. Ooh, they have some silver dollar vines, the Xerosikios dengui. These are $15 each. I always say I'm gonna try one of these and I never do. One of these days I will pick one of these up. They are really cool looking. They have some beautiful syngoniums too. They're nice, very lush and full in the six inch pots. Ooh, look at this neon robusta. Big pillowy pink leaves. They have another highly underrated house plant, the spider plant. This one is the outer variegated one. These are so beautiful. They're in eight inch pots and they are $30 each. They have a ton of Monstera Deliciosas right now. The six inch pots of Monstera Deliciosa are $15 each and the larger eight inch pots are 30. They look so happy and so healthy. They have four inch Syndapsis Pictus Exoticas. These are $6 each. That's one of the best prices I've seen for a four inch Syndapsis Pictus Exotica. I've seen this being charged for like $10, which also isn't bad, but this is just extra good. So this is where you go for this. Ooh, 
They have a string of arrows too. I love the string of arrows. Something about the leaves that I just love. I think it's because the leaves are hard. <laughs> These are $20 each. Like thick, hard leaves are one of my favorite things right now. That's what I love about my Discidia ovata. That is in my Mars Hydro grow tent and it is just growing so profusely and it's getting nice and beautifully sun stressed. But what I absolutely love about that is the super thick, almost cardboard-like waxy leaves. I know it's a lot of descriptors, but accurate. <laughs> Yeah, it's in my grow tent and it is loving the Mars Hydro grow light that I have in there. It is this beautiful shade of red. It's even flowering. It was starting to flower throughout like all of winter. So it has done really, really well and has not declined in the cold at all whatsoever. So that has climbed to the top of my list or somewhere up there. Wow, look at how beautiful this big begonia is. Oh, and I'm always intrigued by their large Pilea peperomioides, the friendship plant or the Chinese money plant. These are so cool. And they're only $30 each. They're huge in really big eight inch pots. So I feel like that's a very reasonable price. And they also have Bonnie spider plant. That's a spider plant that I don't always see out. I used to see a lot more, but lately I haven't. So it's exciting to see one out. This one is $12 for the six inch pot. And I feel like that's a really good price too, considering I paid like $9.99 for a four inch pot. That was so much fun. There were so many plants. I can't wait to come back because they're always, always working on expanding and getting some new plants. But this trip was successful. Everyone here is so nice too, I have to say that uh, Mr. Martinez, the owner of this nursery, is always just so nice and so appreciative. And I, of course, am so appreciative to him too. So come and show Martinez Nursery some love. I did get some plants. I'll do a haul as soon as I get home. But wait, there's more. We're not done. We're gonna go pot shopping. I had so much fun on my last video repurposing some things that I found at Goodwill. I want to visit another Goodwill and see what other goodies I can find there. Just down the street is another Goodwill, so we're gonna check that out. I have to stop and look to see what kind of goodies I'll find here. This is the center with the Jollibee, the 99 Ranch. If you know, you know. Right off the bat, I'm already seeing some really cool finds. Ooh, this could be cute. Line this with some not sphagnum moss, but another type of moss, like a nice dry moss. $4.99 for that. Ooh, I can get a bunny friend for my garden gnome. $9.99, that is expensive. <laughs> Can't forget to check the mugs. And the kitchenware. You just never know what you'll find. Not plant related, but kind of plant related because uh, I use measuring spoons all the time to measure out my fertilizers. <laughs> this is really cute. It's $4.99. Little Botticelli action. It's giving Venus de Milo. Ooh, they also have a poor man's Georgia O'Keefe. I'm sensing a theme. Another successful shopping trip at Goodwill. Let's go home. I can't wait to show you all the things that I got. I found the cutest things at Goodwill. Ziggy. I found the cutest things at Goodwill. Check this out. 
two ninety nine. <laughs> <Ziggy. laughs> okay, in all seriousness, I did find really cute things. I got this really awesome pot. I love the little detail around the rim of the pot. This was $2.99. Then I found this, which I thought would look really cute with this. 99 cents, I love that. This was just begging to be made into a really cool little succulent dish. $1.99. I went shopping right before that, so let me show you all the plants that I got. I had to get this Haworthia. This was only $5. I thought this was such a good deal, and this is one that I do not have in my collection yet. I've been really obsessed with Haworthias lately, so excited to add another one to my collection. And then I got this Crassula Buddha's Temple. Super cool. Crassula. It's beautiful, very geometric. I think this would look perfect. And then I also got this, Sulco Rebusia Rauchii. Really pretty, really cool, interesting cactus. And I finally got a variegated bear paw. I just recently saw flowers from a variegated bear paw and it was so pretty. So I'm really excited to add this one to my collection. I also thought that this Echeveria was super pretty. I absolutely love the pastel green with the pink. Really cute, and I can do a lot with this. So I'm gonna transform this into something really cool. And finally, I got this Crassula, variegated Crassula. Now I'm gonna create something out of these things that I have and show you what I come up with. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so these are what I came up with today. In the dish, I have the Echeveria. I cut three heads off and we'll reroute them in this. And I also did that to some of my leftover Sedevaria and I have the Crassula back here and the Haworthia right here. I think it came out really cute. I love the pastels in this. A piece of my crested Aeonium broke off, so I incorporated that into this pot. I think this looks really cool. I like how it turned out. I have the Sulco Rebusia right here. I also have the Crassula Buddha's Temple right here. I cut a little piece off, so I'm rooting that there. And I separated the Haworthia, so I have two little Haworthia right here to be partnered with this Haworthia teacup. I think this will look really cool together. Thank you so much for joining me. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye. Ocean in between us, still I feel your heart beat. Mm -hmm. There's something about you, baby, that makes me feel complete. I'm taking you home I never felt something like this before, no Coming back for your time at the time Maybe I'm losing my mind But I know I'll never leave you behind, no Baby, I got you When you feel like falling I'll be there to prove, yeah That baby, I got you No matter the distance No matter the rules, yeah Baby, I got you Falling, I'll be there to